My name is Jimmy. Uh, I am a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. Uh, my sobriety date is March 20, 2006. I've been clean and sober now for over four and a half years. Damien Ray, he was 29 years old. He's born on Pearl Harbor Day in 1980. And we lost him to an over, we believe, to an overdose of heroin this past spring, May 16, 2010. I'm China. I was addicted to heroin and crack cocaine. And I've been clean since September 29, 2003. And I'm a mom. These are all faces of people who are coping with the effects that chronic substance abuse has had in their lives. And these are the same people that the dedicated treatment professionals at Community Health Center have been working with for almost 40 years. My name is Teresa Carter, and I have been a volunteer board member for 15 years at Community Health Center in Akron, Ohio. CHC is a leading provider of comprehensive substance abuse treatment, behavioral and primary health care, housing, case management, and other wraparound services for adults and adolescents in our community. Contained in this short video, you will see stories of individuals who have come face to face with a debilitating disease, addiction. At Community Health Center, we believe addiction doesn't discriminate, and it can grab onto anyone, regardless of age, race, gender, economic status, or location. Addiction is a disease that cannot be ignored. Well, my life was pretty screwed up before I uh, become into living a sober life. Um, I was homeless. Um, uh, I didn't have really any family. Uh, I was sleeping in empty houses. I was at the verge of committing suicide. Uh, there was plenty of times I walked across the wide bridge and I really wanted to jump off, you know, because of how screwed up my life was. I decided to get help because um, I was feeling so much pain, you know, and I, and, and I was really afraid of the, uh, the suicidal part of me, you know, not wanting to live anymore. I knew that, you know, that there had to be a better way. When I walked through the door of Raymar, I was in so much pain that I was willing to do anything that they told me to do to change my life. At Raymar Residential Treatment Center, we help the most chronic substance abusers, like Jimmy, by providing an inpatient environment where patients can gain an initial period of sobriety and intensive counseling they need to begin the recovery process. Raymar allows patients to stay 90 or more days before graduating into less restrictive programming and transitional housing to continue the recovery process. Raymar connected me in with uh, the housing program there and uh, it took a lot of those fears away and that housing program saved my life. The addiction I found out, you know, it took me a long time to find out that it is a disease, you know, that I have to treat my disease and the way I treat my disease today is doing what I need to do for my recovery, you know, and as long as I can continue to do that, I can be a normal person. If anybody wants to know what Damien was like prior to, uh, to the drug abuse, look at your kids. Look at your kids, whether they're five or 25, look at your kids. That was him. The characteristics and the signs that we saw were not, yeah, not going to school, missing school, not wanting to get up, ups, highs and lows. You know, one day he'd be up and feeling great and then he'd crash and be mean and nasty. This last uh, year of high school there, uh, we found out he was into the cocaine. Gradually, you know, he still would go back to the pot and the beer. Prescription painkillers are, are a big plague right now. Uh, uh, Oxycontin. It's a very, very bad drug. Well, if you can't get that, and it's expensive because it is prescription, heroin's now cheap. He got into the heroin. Prescription pain medications are the number one abused drug associated with accidental overdose. In Ohio, drug overdose is the leading cause of accidental death, even outnumbering motor vehicle fatalities. People at risk include pain patients, 
non-medical users or those with a history of addiction, children using family members' medications, and people taking multiple medications or with chronic health issues. Our adolescent treatment program educates and treats the child and family using individual and group counseling to address the physical and psychological consequences of abusing drugs at a young age. And I truly think if we could have found the resource to put him into a three month, at least three month intensive treatment center, I, I pray and think in my heart that maybe it would have worked out for him. So by Saturday evening, he still, nobody had heard a word from him. And the friend, one friend called and said that somebody called him and said they'd seen his van parked at this particular place. It was a park and ride where you carpool. So, we, and that was late Saturday evening, so, or night, so we went to bed and even when I told Mike, I said, in my mind, I'm thinking, my God, he's over there in that band, oh, deed, he's dead over there. But I didn't say it out loud. So the next morning, Mike told me, he said, babe, I gotta go check on Damien's band. And we had his daughter there with us because it was her weekend with him. So he left, and I just sat on the back patio steps and waited for him to call me. And he found my son in the van dead from an overdose. And he'd been there three to four days. Although Damien was unable to receive the treatment he needed, CHC's medically assisted treatment program offers methadone and suboxone maintenance and detox treatment. Methadone has long been identified as the most effective long-term treatment for individuals addicted to heroin and other opiates. In our last patient survey, over 96% of patients report that they are satisfied with the services they are receiving from Community Health Center. We've, we've come through a long, hard fight, and we lost. And if we can help anybody win, uh, we'd like to. Lost my job the first week of April. My sponsor, my uh, few family members came and picked my child up a week after that um, and took my child away until I could get my stuff handled. Um, I know they did that with honorable intentions, but what it did to me with the guilt and shame of, of being an addict and knowing what I was doing was it just kicked. I couldn't not be high. There, there was no coming down at that point. So I stayed in residential treatment for 66 days and when I was making my discharge plan I realized that one of my biggest problem was that when they would let me go so many people thought I was just going to be fine. You know, she knows how to do it. She can get a job and life will be good. And I knew at this point that I wasn't, I, I could not trust myself. I was made aware of the Peachtree program at the Community Health Center and it sounded too good to be true. Peachtree Estates reunites recovering women with their children while they continue the treatment process. Residents follow a treatment plan, see a counselor and case manager on a regular basis, and participate in random drug testing. China and her daughter are just one of the success stories of this remarkable program. I got my keys to my Peachtree apartment in April. She was there with me 100% of the time from that point on. Uh, and I think it was a great place for her to be too because she got to, she got to understand that mama's not unlike other women and that there are lots of kids who have parents just like hers. I was really pleased that the Community Health Center allowed me to step gracefully out at my own level um, and if I got a little more scared I could come back and you know there was always a phone call that type of thing so they were just constantly accessible you know constantly a little touchstone in my life. Recovery from drug and alcohol abuse is a lifelong process. China recognizes that and supports other moms who are faced with the same obstacles as she has overcome. Today, she volunteers at Peachtree Estates every week. I think moms who have used when their, parent, when their children were around, um, that guilt's a hard one. It'll follow us. I know it follows me. I feel very good about what I do. Peachtree Housing Project is a place that um, it breeds new life. You know, there's no two ways about it. Um, the world would be a much worse place if we didn't have, have it. Never, never, 
never give up hope. You know, so whatever happens, you just keep going. After watching these personal stories, it may be easy to think, that could never happen to me. But the truth of the matter is, it could very well be you or someone you love. The likelihood of a family member or friend needing a service offered by a community health center is very real. I urge you to remember that addiction is a chronic disease that none of us is immune to. Our patients go beyond the city limits of Akron. We serve our neighborhoods, friends and co-workers in suburbs and small towns all over the community. The people we serve include the children participating in prevention education groups after school. It could be your colleague's son who is seeing a counselor in our adolescent program and possibly even your neighbors down the street living peacefully in a group home that we operate. CHC has a history of providing quality health care services in our area and this great community resource is here for you when you need it because we believe someone you know needs us.